actually helps. Hey, hey, stop biting my cables, bro. You really gotta stop that. <clears throat> What's that that you chewing on? You guys are hell, bro. I swear to you. What is the sound? Go ahead and ignore this guy for now. You just want to run past him. There's going to be two more second stones. We'll pick up right there. And we're going to keep on heading this way towards some more village. I feel like, oh, okay. Who the hell switched my items?
Okay, now I understand what's going on. <laughs> There's nothing like I didn't know how to play, bro. said to fight to run past him but I don't think I'm gonna do it oh hold up am I even in the <laughs> you know what I'm saying I don't even think I was in the camera you know what I mean I wonder if it's because Why should I have ignored him, though? We're going to be hitting this area a little bit later, uh, but there is a boss here that has a key item we need for a quest in addition to... Uh, let's go and talk to D real fast. This guy's going to go to the hub in a little bit. Just talk to him. It doesn't really matter if you talk to him and still complete his quest. But yeah, he has a key item, and in addition to that, this one in particular has a pretty nice summit for every game. It's gonna summon these two skeletons that will keep respawning over and Whatever, over. Whatever, I took them uh, out. Unless something hits them after they're all do. down, which most bosses and NPCs won't. So they're definitely a really solid summon choice because they just they last. So while we're gonna be ignoring him, we're not gonna be ignoring everything that's here. And what we wanna do is stay with later. Oh um, yeah, um, once again, another disclaimer. I am listening to the homie Fighting Cowboys walkthrough. Fighting Cowboy on YouTube. His walkthrough on Elden Ring on YouTube. Because he's the best there at this. There's no question. Don't even, don't even think about questioning him, bro. Head on the ridge. Go ahead and ignore this guy for now. We just want to run past him. Let's see what he's going to be stones will pick up right there. We're going to keep on heading this way towards Summon Walk Village. We're going to be hitting this area a little bit later, uh, but there is a boss here that has a key item we need for a quest in addition to... Uh, let's go and talk to D real fast. This guy is going to go to the hub in a little bit. Let me talk to him. It doesn't really matter if you talk to him. He's going to complete his quest. But yeah, he has a key item, and in addition to that, this one in particular has a pretty nice summon for every game. It's going to summon these two skeletons. Yo, can you? Keep over and over. Can you uh, stop? Something hits can them you stop chewing the, the cables, bro? Most stop. Bosses and NPCs won't. So they're definitely a really solid summon choice because they just they last. The village here has been touched by death. And so while we're going to be ignoring him, we're not going to be ignoring everything that's here. Uh, we want to. This here has a. Oh! 
this one in particular has a pretty nice summon for the early game. It's going to summon these two skeletons that will keep respawning over and over uh, unless something hits them after they're already down, which most bosses and NPCs won't. So they definitely have a really solid summon choice they just they lack So while we're going to be ignoring him, we're not going to be ignoring everything that's here. What we're going to do is start on the right side of the ruins. And you can see over there on the left that little that gravestone icon. That is the ashen icon. That's the summon meaning of the game. Summon up the ruins. Damn! We're not going to summon them up and try to actually fight this guy. We're going to go over here. When you see the turtles, you know you're in the right area. <laughs> Our first stone sword key. Even if we didn't start with the stone sword keys, we picked them up back Damn. Up where we met the lady in the last episode. So we Ooh. You can kill these turtles if you want for turtle flesh. Wow! Is that a job? The real reason we came here is to pop this chest to him and get ourselves a juice of first towns. Pretty nice summon for the game. It's going to summon these two skeletons that will keep respawning over and over. Uh, unless something hits them after Ain't no way you're doing what I think you're doing, yeah. Bosses and NPCs won't. So they're definitely a really solid summon choice because they just they last. After yeah, now, we just want to run past him. There's going to be two more stepping stones we'll pick up right there. We're going to keep on heading this way towards Summon Walk Village. We're going to be hitting this area a little bit later. There's a boss here who has a key I'm item rocking right now. Rest, in addition to... Let's uh, go talk to D real fast. This guy's going to go to the hub in a little bit. Talk to him. I'm going to have to talk to him. He's going to get his quest. But yeah, he has a key item. And in addition to that, this one in particular is a pretty nice summon for the other game. It's going to summon these two skeletons that will keep respawning over and over. Uh, unless something hits them after they're already down, which most bosses and NPCs won't. So they're definitely a really solid summon choice because they just, they last. Freaking bastardo. So we're going to be ignoring him. We're not going to be ignoring everything that's here. What we're going to do is stay on the right side of the ruins. And you can see over on the left that little ashen icon. Oh no. That is the ashen icon. That's the summon being the ashen summon of our dudes. We're not going to summon them up and try to actually find this guy. I thought I gotta learn the jump okay, button. You see the turtles, you know you're in the right area. Go to the hub in a little bit. Just talk to him. It doesn't really matter if you talk to him. He's going to complete his quest. But yeah, he has a key item. And in addition to that, this one in particular has Hold on, man. a pretty nice summon. She was acting like... Um, what could I give you the true one? Don't die, don't die, don't die. Get up, fool! Jesus. Well, I could have killed that dude easily. like <laughs> it's easy on the horse though but I'm such a freaking like hack and slash like let's get it
this little punk ass archer at? Oh. Village here has been touched by death. You still can. Nah, they got him out right now, Drew. Straight red. <laughs> Man. Can't believe the niggas did that to the kings yesterday, yo. That's so crazy, bro. Steph, let me see. He is in there. And Clay. They got their team back. Yo, honestly, that Cleveland game is looking like, do you think Brogdon, Halliburton, and Buddy Hill can beat Garland, Okoro, and Austin? Even marketing be scoring, too, and like Baba said, Mobley. Nah, yeah, give me the Cavs, bro. K-Love off the bench, good for like a little 12, 15. This guy's gonna go to the hub in a little bit. Just talk to him. It doesn't really matter if you talk oh, to him. Oh, it does pop up. That's what I was about to say. But yeah, he has a key item, and in addition to that, this one in particular has a pretty nice summon for a early game. It's gonna summon these two skeletons that will keep respawning over and over uh, unless something hits them after they're already down, which most bosses and NPCs won't. So definitely a really solid summon choice. Oh, uh, come on. Nice. He just. Oh. Uh... So while we're going to be more than everything that's here, what we want to do is 
instead of the one side of the lens, you can see over there on the left that little the gravestone icon. That is the ashen icon. That's it. Alright. I already see something on the water, bro. I don't know what that is. Stone sword keys. We picked one up back at the hut where we met the lady in the last episode, so we should still be good. But you can kill these turtles if you want for turtle flesh. It's used for for uh -huh. and different things. The real reason we came here is to pop this chest open and get ourselves shoes. Oh, not letting me in. We're not going to summon them up and try to actually fight this guy. We're going to go over here. When you see the turtles, you know you're going to use our first stone sword key. Even if you didn't start with the stone sword keys, we picked one up back at the hut where we met the lady in the last episode, so we should still be good. But you can kill these turtles if you want for turtle flesh. It's used for, for cracking a lot of different things. The real reason we came here is to pop this chest open and get ourselves a juicy first talisman, a green turtle talisman. Uh, this is going to boost your stamina recovery speed for my uh, souls veterans. You may also know this as the Clonothy Ring. Super useful item, almost regardless nice. of the nice. You, know, you can never go wrong with stamina regeneration. But from here, we're going to head south, and once we get to the cliff edge, you can ignore this guy. This is going to be a, a cerulean scatter. You can always tell based on the color. The red ones, and not just the orb, but the scare, never go wrong with stamina regeneration. But from here, we're going to head south, and once we get to the cliff edge, we can ignore this guy. This is going to be a, a cerulean. Man. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Ooh, what's this? so that we can grab That's our level, fact. and then that'll just make things a lot more comfortable. So we're gonna grab that. Okay, golden room. Like that. Down for a shiny that has sacred blade. It should be this way, I believe. There is Mr. Sacred Blade. There's the church, there's the church. Here. There it is. So this is a spirit spring jump. Uh, these will boost you on up, but they'll also soften your fall when you jump towards them. You can see how I kind of have like a wind aura swirling around my horse. You see that during the clip. I want to kill this guy. That's going to get a sacred lead. And this is a super, super useful ash of war for the early game catacombs, because it's going to give you extra damage, which will allow you to the skeletons to Okay. Just to show where we're at the map. 
Here's the church, there's some in village. We got a flask of wondrous physic. This thing is super, super awesome. One of my favorite additions to the game. It's a mix and max potion where you can pick exactly what you want, what effects you want from the potion, from things you find out in the world. And then it's single use, but still just like a really cool item, you know? Make your own potion. I love it. Okay, from here, we are going to go northeast. Super awesome, one of my favorite additions. Church, there's some in Water Village. Hmm. Crimson Crystal Seer. Okay. This thing is super, super awesome, one of my favorite additions to the game. There's the flask. Ah, let me get off the horse. Where you can pick exactly what you want. I'm going to check out this grace. I'm going to level up again. Level up, level up, level up, level up, level up, level up. And this is going to. Did he pick up that sacred tear? Okay, from Glass of Wondrous Physic. This thing is super, super off the map. Here's the shirt. And the skeletons in one hand. Oh, 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 oh. After that, we're going to run into this church. Just to show where we're at the map. Here's the church. There's Summon Walk Village. Flask of Wondrous Physic. This thing is super, super awesome. One of my favorite additions to the game. It's a mix and max potion where you can pick exactly what you want, what effects you want from the potion, from things you find out in the world. And then it's single use, but still just like a really cool item, you know? Make your own potion. I love it. Okay, from here, we are going to go northeast. I'm pretty sure you grabbed the secret here. Right here in this water. Gonna be a teleporter. I'm gonna wanna take this and this is going to eat us across the map into an area where we probably don't belong, but we're gonna go out. Okay. Yes! Here we want to go! We want to go. I see that face coming back to me, like an old familiar song. What better place Whoa. <laughs> that looks like somebody. Now, those of you that played the network test, I'm sure you remember how awesome Beast Ball was. Super cool ability. Now, this is the NPC you get that from. But to get Beast Ball, you need to feed a bunch of death roots. Death roots drop from the Marinos, and there's a couple other locations throughout the world that have them. But that, that guy in Summon Water Village that we could have fought, killing him is going to get us the, the item we need to give to this guy. But there's no reason to interact with him right now. Uh, we can't, you know. You could interact with him right now, but don't worry about it. Do not try fighting this gargoyle. He will he does drop a really nice sword for faith builds, though. Hold on, let me see. You see, you get that from. But to get beast ball, you need to feed. I think he said not to try to fight him. Death roots drop from the Marinos, and there's a couple other locations throughout the world that have them. But that that guy in Summon Water Village that we could have fought, killing him is going to get us the the uh, item we need to get to this guy. But there's no reason to interact with him right now. Uh, we can't, you know. You could interact with him right now, but don't worry about it. Do not try fighting this gargoyle. He will. Big. Okay, 
can't even hit him. Oh my god. Let's go. What are you doing, punk? Oh man. Alright, if we get one shot, I get it, I get it. Alright, alright. There's a couple other locations throughout the world that have them, but that, that guy in Summon Water Village that we could have fought, killing him is going to get us the, the uh, item we need to give to this guy. But there's no reason to interact with him right now. Uh, we can't, you know, we could interact with him right now, but uh, right. do not try fighting this guy while he absolutely <laughs> this kind of game. He does drop a really nice sword for Faith Bills, though. Uh, has a really cool weapon, or I used it a lot in my own playthrough. Uh, grab a seat. And I would not suggest trying to fight these guys right now. They can basically instant kill you. We're just gonna keep on this way, and we're trying to run to that brace you see right there. In fact, we're not gonna be fighting like anything. So, yes. There is a Ash of Ray you can get from the Shining Ball over there, but at this point in the game, it's going to take you a lot of hits and kill it, so I wouldn't recommend it. So as we rest, she is going to show up. Go ahead and run through her dialogue. She's going to take us to the round table. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, word. So we're not actually going to do anything in round table hold just yet. Uh, we're going we're gonna to come back here later, but think of this as your central hub. So you can see an icon on the left, that means you can't attack here, so don't worry about accidentally killing any NPCs. Uh, but yeah, we got other stuff we're going to do, so we're not even worried about that right now. We're going to jump back out over there to the Great Bridge. After we've done our, our loop around and grabbed all the starter stuff, then we'll go back out there. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment. Take me. I need a robe, girl. I'm tired. I'm cold. I mean. Round table home. I'm about to get a different oh, I'm cold. I'm only in a cold one. I'm drink the juice. Brooklyn, Brooklyn money line is minus one fifty eight. Um, it would be plus one sixty nine if you combine it. Yeah, if you co well, I thought you meant if you take the two. Oh, got you. Yeah, what Drew said. That's a point. 
Damn, that's on Bovada? That's crazy, yo. Because look at that on FanDuel. He's minus 130 to get 30 points, yo. Damn, that's crazy. That's crazy, yo. That's kind of crazy to me. Even th yeah, because even if you take him at thirty, but it's true that definitely means he should probably he's probably gonna get that easy. Yeah, that's a fact. Man, I need to, let me put that in now because those are the type of things that'll go up later. They'll have him for like thirty one, and you'll be mad as hell you ain't take it. Yo, Baba, they got Garland at 23. What do you think? Got gotcha. you. I'm going to throw it on the parlay. Nah, but those are those are the games that I like to take like after, cause that's the same thing with Embiid. Yup, 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 yup. But they got Mobley at like seventeen too. That's not a lot. I'm about to look what he's been doing. I heard y'all talking about him, and he's not. Yeah, nah, he's not. He definitely. Hmm. And so far I got you take KD for that twenty nine. You could take um Garden and Mobley. Mobley for eighteen, Garden for twenty four. Alright, let's get back to work. We gotta go to Grey Rose, Dragon Ball. Oh, wait. yeah, he said there's nothing to do. I didn't wanna talk to nobody yet. Damn, did I not touch a Grace up there? Don't tell me I didn't do that. Sorry as your central hub. So you can see an icon on the left, that means you can't attack here, so don't worry about accidentally killing any NPCs. Uh, but yeah, we got other stuff we're gonna do, so we're not even worried about that right now. We're gonna jump back out over here oh, the to floor. the Great Bridge. Tripping. See, it was gotten. After we've done our, our loop around and grabbed all the starter stuff, then we'll go to that area. So next, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go north and then loop around this way. And this is going to be an early farming area that we're going to take you to. Uh, gotta give credit to Boomstick Gaming. He's the one who actually found this little spot. Uh, prior to knowing about this, you guys heard that Broomstick Gaming? Who you found this spot? Per kill with them. But this is definitely a safer farm and one that I think is a lot more beginner friendly. So, we're just going to head on over this way. There's little poison things on the ground, so. Be a little bit careful as you're running through, and you'll avoid those just fine. Oh no. Now in general, I am not going to recommend you do a ton of farming. We're going to farm up enough souls to upgrade our weapon and that's about it. The levels will come pretty easily. Uh, if you're really, really struggling in the game, that's when I would suggest farming, but I mean, you don't trust me when I say you don't need to farm this game. Fighting. So you can get through just fine without. You don't need to farm up 30,000 souls and level up a bunch of stuff. 
Uh, so this is a puzzle tower. There's a bunch of these throughout the world. This one, usually that statue gives you instructions if it's broken. I'll show you how to solve it anyway. So it's pretty easy. I'm just going to jump right here and aim for that balcony. spells at this point in the game, honestly, that's impressive, because I don't I think I know of five spells at this point in the game that's even useful, but that's when I would suggest farming, but I mean, you don't trust me when I say you don't Look need at to that. farm this game. So you can get through just fine without, you, know, you don't need to farm up 30,000 souls and level up a bunch of stuff. Uh, so this is a puzzle tower. There's a bunch of these throughout the world. This one, usually that statue gives you instructions, but it's broken, but I'm going to show you all how to solve it anyway. It's pretty easy. I'm just gonna jump right here and aim for that balcony. Hold on, my cousin is over here. She's so cold. <laughs> we take you say that you taking the favorites and, and taking them plus taking the favorites plus four. How much is this subscription, famous? Coming on up here. And this isn't really needed on our build, but those uh, all of our mage builds will benefit from this. This is going to get you a early memory step, and that is going to increase the amount of casting slots you have. So it's really nice to snag one of these early so you can start getting your uh, 
you know, cast you have available up. And there's another one of these that will stay. It's a chat. I mean, it's a chest. Open it up. Slots. And then one that we can buy from a merchant that will have you at five casting slots. And if you can, I mean, if you can use more than five spells at this point in the game, honestly, that's impressive. Because I don't think I know what five spells at this point in the game that's even useful. But we're going to get it either way. Real fast, I'm just going to run down here. I don't believe there's anything, but we didn't check in the, uh, the private notes, so I just want to confirm. Oh, we have that guy. Yeah, I don't know if you can even kill him at this point. Actually, no, don't kill him at this point. We need him alive. We need him alive. I'm pretty sure that's the guy that summons the ball. So I remember trying to remember uh, how to stop the balls, but we want the balls. So I know you're like, Balls, what is he talking about? We're going to show you the ball farm. This is the one that we used to discover and talk about. So the balls are being summoned by that thing that's in there. We kill that the balls are stuck. What we want to do is just run down here. Wait, hold up. Right about the time we get over to these rocks. Did he just run back down? Yeah. Yeah. You can use more than five spells at this point in the game. Honestly, that's impressive. Because I don't think I know what five spells. No are. precious it's item ahead. We're gonna get it either way. Real fast, I'm just gonna run down here. I don't believe there's anything, but we didn't check in the uh you know, so just ah! Ah! Oh we have that guy. Yeah, I don't know if you need to kill him at this point. Actually no, don't kill him at this point. We need him alive. We need him alive. I'm pretty sure that's the guy that summons the ball. So I remember trying to remember uh, how to stop the balls, but we want the balls. So I know you're like, Balls, what is he talking about? We're going to show you the ball farm. And this is the one that we were still discovering what we talked about. So the balls are being summoned by that thing that's in there. We kill that, the balls are stuck. What we want to do is just run down here. Wait, hold on. Uh, I'm actually going to do something else. Well, actually... Yeah, no, that's not important. So I'll take this off. Put this on. Now. Alright. No, I did something. I stop the balls, but we want the balls. We want them. So I know like balls, what is he talking about? We're going to show you the ball farm. This is the one that we must have discovered and we're going to talk about. So the balls are being summoned by that thing that's in there. We kill that, the balls are stuck. But what we want to do is just run down here. Right about the time we get over to these routes, you can hear it, and we're gonna cut and we're gonna turn to the right. That ball is gonna fall off. You just keep looking in the direction of the ball, and you can see it going down to 2,000 souls. So at that point, you can go back to these routes. And you can do this on rinse and repeat. You can do it as many times as. And right about the time we get over to these routes, you can hear it, and we're gonna cut and we're gonna turn to the right. That ball is going to fall off. You just keep looking in the direction of the ball, and you can see that you're going to get a quick 2,000 souls. So at that point, you can work back to Lenny's rounds. And you can do this on Rinse and Repeat. You can do it as many times as you need. Um, like I said, I don't recommend just being like, you don't need to sit here and farm up a ton of souls to get super powerful in the early game. Uh, but if you're short and you need a couple souls to upgrade your weapons, I think it's worth it doing that. Now, it's important that you watch the ball go off the cliff. Don't see it go off the cliff, it's not going to give us this. Oh my god, it hit me again. That's hilarious. So that thing is supposed to freaking help you get souls, and it keeps killing me.
You gotta reset probably, okay. You don't gotta worry about load times and PS5. I wonder why it didn't pop out. Bro! Now look at where my grace is gonna be. It's gonna be in a tight spot. we see is maybe like 15% of the total world. There's so much to this place. So we're going to go back to this church. Uh, we're going to go back to church. There's so much to this place. We're going to hop back over to our church. You're already seeing just how big this world is. I got to go back to the church. I'm going to bust this off one more time. Oh wait, why did I do that? Take that one away. find out not even the farming is easy in this game. <laughs> now it's easier. Alright, we gotta go back to the church. How much is left? This is a 30 minute episode. I really do wanna wash my car. I'm not even gonna lie to ya. How long I've been on? Let me see. I'm gonna just do a quick hour. In just about an hour. The craziest thing is this is like this is. I could watch this car from my crib. Maybe like 15% of the total world. There's so much in space. So we're going to go back to this church. Um, we're going to go back to church at least on the way. Talk to Dewey. We're going to put the map fragment. Oh, yeah. What's his case? Oh, no. I think I'm 
Se. Look at me. Oh, yeah, so we are going this way, and we're going to go this way. Second point. So we're going to go this way. Probably this way. Church at least I'm going to talk to do it and get that fragment. Oh, yeah, what's his face? Uh, so we are going this way and then we're going to go this way. Yep, that's awesome. More giants. Just right on out towards that road construction, you see. See, this one is red, so that's going to restore Estus and not worry about killing him. Well, last Estus, the same thing. But you can end up calling moon souls and races bonfires. It's a muscle memory at this point. So if you want to just talk to this guy, he's going to give you a quest to clear out an area down south. We're going to do that, uh, but we just need to. I went for it, blah blah blah, I'll give you a reward. That's good. So now we're going to head down here and get a map marker. So when a map is unveiled, you can usually see these icons. Uh, you can't see it in underground zones, but any other zone, those icons are what are going to unveil the map. Now this area is known as the Mistwood. It isn't really an area, but there are these things that I've decided to call Green Bears because I fought one that was a boss and it was called Green Bear. Uh, I would not mess with the Green Bears right now. Just to point this out, this is like a treasure ghost. It's weird. They'll summon. I'm trying to show you. I already know where it goes, but. Uh, it's going to summon this guy who's going to walk a couple steps and disappear, and walk a couple steps and disappear. And if you feel, feel like spending five, six minutes following him, he's going to leave you some treasure. But we are not worried about that. Instead, we are just going to hunt around over here. Pick this up. You can try and grab the ghost. Do not fight the bear. The ghost is weird. They'll summon the ship. I already have work here and get a map marker. So when a map is unveiled, you can usually see these icons. Uh, you can't see it in underground zones, but in any other zone, those icons are what are going to unveil the map. Now, this area is known as the Mistwood. It is an early game area, but there are these things that I've decided to call Green Bears because I fought one that was a boss and it was called Green Bear. I would not mess with the Green Bears right now. Just to point this out, this is like a treasure ghost. It's weird. They'll summon. Let me show you. I already know where it goes, but. Uh, it's going to summon this guy who's going to walk a couple steps and disappear, or walk a couple steps and disappear. And if you feel, feel like spending five, six minutes following him, he's going to lead you to some treasure. But we are not worried about that. Instead, we are just going to clear on over here. Pick this up. And you can try and grab that. Do not fight the bear. Things we want in the Mistwood Ruins. 
Now this place has one of those big old bears that I was talking about, so you're going to want to be careful. Do not poke the bear. Here, I would suggest staying crouched. Bear is safe. I might have lost my way, I just heard him loud. There's a little bit of distance here before I pull the map. There's a couple of things we're hitting up here while we're over here, but we don't want to be in combat. We're doing it. Alright, that howling is good. We're going to go over there. The howling is an NPC. We're going to come back later to interact with him. But for now, there's things we want in the Mistwood Woods. Now this place has one of those big old bears that I was talking about, so you're going to want to be careful. Do not hook the bear. Here, I would suggest staying crouched. Put the bear aside. That. Get the thing from the chest. Trust that. I did not see that thing. has one of those big old bears that I was talking about, so you're going to want to be careful. Do not poke the bear. Here, I would suggest staying crouched. Put the bear aside. And... Get the thing from... Oh, okay. Attacks, which is pretty nice. Like I said, charge attacks are, are really good. Uh, let me see. Uh, which Let's check our notes. Uh, so next, we're going to head on over to the herb tree where I marked. Uh, if for some reason one of these ever gets away, oh! all you need to do is just the system here, quick game. And when you reload in the game, it will be right back there. They're very similar uh, to the, the things that we're going to spawn. Now, there's a bunch of them near here, but these are not ones that we need to worry about. Can you Access to these two things. Now, while you're over here, uh, you know, let's just get it. I guess it wouldn't hurt to get it. We'll save us some time later running back here. This is an area I would not recommend you do anything with for the time being. We can go down. Uh, you know, let's just get it. I guess it wouldn't hurt. 
if you want the flask, you want to be He knows. Uh, if for some reason one of these ever gets away. Just checking my notes. Uh, so next we're going to head on over to the bird tree for our mark. Uh, bird tree. Shiny think he knows I'm here. Grace back. I'll probably leave it right there. Don't tell me they put my grace in a crazy spot, bro. Something I wanted to do. Let me go back to the grace. I'll go back to a fast travel spot. Ooh, there was definitely a bear coming for me. guys i appreciate y'all your boy is out i know these streams been quick but uh, your boy been working uh, your boy been grinding but i'm out of here man i'll see y'all tonight if anything, I mean, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm off for of work on Thursday, man. Maybe. Damn, I only got one trophy. I thought I had two.
Y'all stay safe out there, man. Everybody stay safe, man. Peace.